Hi guys, Luton here, and today I'm going to be talking about my PC setup for Battlefield 4. I'm also going to run over just my layout here a little bit and talk about why this is set up as it is. Now basically I've got my iMac here on the left and I've got the PC on the right. I've also got my peripherals all set up around here. Now the reason I've got the iMac there is obviously it's my second computer for video editing and rendering etc. Uh, the Elgato Game Capture HD is what is recording from the PC for me. Okay, And what happens is that the PC is actually duplicating itself onto the Elgato Game Capture HD. It's like it's giving it a second screen. But it's only pushing out basically a duplicate of what's happening there. It means it takes no strain from the CPU or the GPU. I don't lose anything, I don't drop any frames either. It's a really, really good setup. It means that the PC can focus on doing the gameplay and this computer over here can focus on recording and then obviously I can start editing. It's also a good setup because it means I can multitask. If I want to be rendering and editing, I can do that on this computer and leave it rendering whilst I actually continue to game or live stream or whatever. Um, whereas if you actually had this PC set up just for doing both things, like a lot of people just have one PC for that. Um, it means that they're trying to do both things together or they have to stop one to do the other. With this setup, I can do both things at the same time, which is a really, really great thing to have. It gives me more productivity, more flexibility, means I can do more with my setup and for me as a YouTuber. Okay, so now we're going to talk more about the PC itself in a minute. Uh, I just want to say also, I apologize for the sound. It's a little bit tinny here. It's just because of the mic setup. You don't get such good audio quality, which is why I'm going to talk about the PC in post-processing in a minute. Now, I just want to talk a little bit about peripherals as well. Uh, this is my keyboard. It's the uh, Razer Black Widow Ultimate Stealth Edition. The Stealth Edition is different. The normal Black Widow runs with Cherry MX blue keys. This one's with brown. The difference being just a slightly different sound on the keys. It's a little bit nice, a bit soft. It's not quite so loud. The blues uh, are known for being very loud on the mechanical keyboards. Uh, I've got my double keyboard set up for the two computers. I've also got my two mice set up as well. Uh, it's just my old Logitech mouse. And then the other one I've got right here, you can see behind me, that's the uh, Zowie EC1 one mouse. I'm going to do a review of that separately and also the keyboard separately because there's a lot to talk about with those things. Really both nice peripherals. Um, I'm also going to go into talking about the PC in a mo, so let's get straight on to that. Okay guys, so now I'm just going to run you through the system itself and the components, what's in here in the unit. Now over here, this is where the CPU is. We've got an Intel Core i7-3770K quad core uh, CPU in there. Uh, this is obviously just the stock fan. Um, I didn't go with uh, you know an added cooler for that, but I know a lot of people are always like, oh yeah, got to go liquid straight away, got to do this, got to do that. Um, I was advised, and people I spoke to said, you know, you probably won't need it. It is a good thing to have, but you'll probably be okay. And to be honest, right, with everything that I run, everything runs perfectly, and I have not ever got above like 50 degrees. It's been absolutely fine. However, that doesn't mean I'm not going to change it out. Uh, when I set up this system, it was very expensive, and it is one of my main things that I'm going to upgrade to. So I will definitely put another cooler on there, because it's always a good thing to have. It's always good to be safe and have more on there uh, but at the moment it runs totally fine and you know so but it, I will upgrade it. Uh, this is the motherboard itself this is obviously the Asus uh, Sabertooth uh, Z77 motherboard um, very very nice system uh, got all your thermal armor protection etc there so yeah it's a really great motherboard a lot of uh, features and stuff but just fantastic system. Uh, the RAM in here we've got uh, 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance uh, RAM in there again just fairly stock does what it says on the tin. Uh, the hard drives over here, I've got my uh, Samsung 840 Pro, it's a 256 gigabyte hard drive, and I've got another one down here, this is a Samsung 125 gigabyte HDD, i say that was my friend actually gave that one to me. Uh, and then of course the PSU, that's your Corsair uh, AX850, again very good, very reliable system there. GPU, it's the EVGA GTX 770 ACX Superclocked Edition, uh, really really nice GPU, a lot of cooling, uh, for the money you get a hell of a lot, so it's a really really great system, you can see some of the cooling pipes in here etc, but again, when I looked at the GPUs I was looking at the model below and the model above, and for my budget and for what I was looking at, this was really the one to get, and I say for the money you pay, it's a really excellent GPU, it drives so much, it has so much power, really really fantastic, and uh, it's given, you know, tons and tons of quality for me when I've been playing so really love it. Um, I may in the future look at doing SLI or something like that but at the moment just running this single card nice you know stable setup for me uh, to, you know the first PC as well so a nice stable setup really good. The case itself by the way this is an Antec P280 uh, this is actually the same one that Level Cap uses again just to talk a little bit about cases and stuff you'll notice that my theme is fairly sort of just black and bland I don't you know it's a tool 
there to do a job. I'm playing the games. I don't give a damn what this thing looks like. Okay, for me, it's just a black box and it should be just doing everything that you want it to do. Your focus is on the screen, is on the game. The rest of this stuff down here is under my desk. It's out of the way. It doesn't matter. I don't need a ton of jazz lights all over the place. I don't need loads of crazy pimped crap, okay? It just does what it's supposed to do. It's a technical piece of equipment and that's what it's going to do. So no fancy th thrills or frills here. It just does what it says on the tin. And then, of course, the monitor, which you can't see, is just up on the desk. That's the BenQ uh, XL240T. Uh, it's a 24 inch, 120 hertz, and it gives you 1080 and all the rest of it. So, there we go, guys. That's this one. We'll go back in and talk a little bit more about the setup. So guys, that was my setup for my PC for Battlefield 4. I've put a full list of the items in the notes below. Um, I think the one thing to say is that PCs are very individual. Uh, everyone's budgets are different, everyone's requirements are different, depending on what you want to play and so on and so on. So keep that in mind when you're looking at your items. Um, by the way, if people are going to ask questions, as I'm sure they will, about what items to choose, uh, one thing that I would say is that you'll get a lot of different sort of opinions from different people. Uh, at the end of the day, the best thing to do is to find what is right for you. Um, so when I was looking at what components to buy for my PC, I obviously had some good people to ask and find out, you know, okay, what are going to be the things that I want from the system. But still you'll have people contradicting and saying different things and telling you different things. So really what you need to do is to just read up look up about the items, try and find what is going to be right for you. And that's what I did at the end of the day. That's definitely what I did when it came to the CPU size of things and sort of when it came to those kind of components, what it was that I was choosing to do. And even some of the other things are kind of quite stock. Um, and obviously your kind of CPU motherboard will go together. Uh, so they're kind of like when you choose one, that's the way it's going to go. Um, the reason, again, like I say, I didn't go with the cooling. Um, I'm sure that a lot of people will be like, oh, it's not enough cooling, it's not enough cooling. And when I originally set the system up um, even some people who are regular PC users were like oh you, you really are you sure it's gonna be fine I had plenty of people actually saying that the stock would be fine for now and it really has been I mean you guys saw during the battle for full beta I was running the system no problem at all didn't have any issues um, fingers crossed of course but um, you know cooling is fantastic always and like I say I am looking to upgrade and add in a, a cooler there as well probably not liquid cooler I don't think I need to go that far because I'm not overclocking the CPU um, so it should be totally fine but um, yeah some tweaks I want to make over time but right now I'm very very happy with what I've got it works very well for me I've been running everything perfectly uh, fingers crossed continue to do so uh, so thanks for watching today guys hope you have enjoyed uh, feel free to drop any comments questions below and uh, I'll see you next time for some more Battlefield 4